Hello, Teenage America. My name is the Rabble Rouser, and we are back with some more daylight. When we last left off, we got into a new area. Can't go through there. Alright, and we got some more glow sticks that we can pick up. Alright, attention, all employees. Last night at approximately 7 p.m., the power went off to this section of the facility. Due to the unfortunate timing, we were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department, and he passed away in transit in the hallway behind the records room security door. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non-maintenance staff should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize yourself with the power switch's location within the records room stacks by management. Okay. This doesn't seem to be working yet. Okay. Um, let's pop open one of these. Because reasons. Alright. <clears throat> Attention all employees. We understand that it is difficult to make it outside on your 10 minute breaks. However, just because the records room is large and has high ceilings does not mean you can move things about and create a satellite break room for smoking. We have caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously, and climbing over them to serve as a lookout. Be advised, this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. Management. Okay, so... Going through here, that area is blocked off, that area is blocked off. What the f... Oh! Hey there! Surprised me with that loud noise. Okay. Date May first, nineteen eight forty. Concerning Mrs. Daniels, Ms. Daniels suicide. Miss Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating she was extremely unhappy at work and in her personal life. Personnel on site state that she died from rapid blood loss caused caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrist. Her body was found sitting on a wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Mrs. Daniels' body was transported to the morgue. This is eerie. This is eerily similar to the other instances. Dot dot dot. Hmm. Oh God. Yeah, we're hallucinating. Oh well. <clears throat> Mid Islands ghosts from the past, November twelfth, nineteen sixty-seven. Mid-Island Hospital is one of the most locally influential and medically profound places in our his city's history, yet few people know how important its presence has been, from treating smallpox in the 1850s to contributing to tuberculosis research in more recent years. Uh, the hospital has done much to benefit the citizens of New Kipling. Even its brief, if failed, attempt at reopening as a penitentiary helped to keep our citizens safe. Okay. I actually looked through the achievements, well, hovered on the achievements of this game, and apparently you can die. There are some horror games where, you know, you can't, but this is not one of them. So that puts a little bit more of an edge on her. Kipling Sissons accusing crime 16-year-old girl, oh, allowed to live, admits guilt, est condemned to hang evil, hospital opened to deal with spread of disease. Hmm. Oh, yeah, and it's also very late at night for me, too. Um. Stop. Stop! Hmm. So this is normal. Okay. What ails you, Sarah? Oh. Okay. Date, March 3rd, 1938. Concerning patient 90D. <laughs> well, on nightly rounds, Nurse Mortuary noticed patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protection... the mesh protecting the glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood, and he was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he like will likely lose both eyes. The patient did not seem bothered by this. Recommend transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. Alright, we got this. 
<sighs> and then there's the hospital as it stands today, abandoned and referred to by the locals as Crow Island for its ominous bird population. The hospital and the island it sits on are now more synonymous with rumors about crystals and hauntings. There is hardly a youth in New Kipling who does not entertain the rite of package of sneaking in to the abandoned building, and the stories they concoct about hearing voices, smelling cigar smoke, or even seeing a woman's shadow wandering the hallways have done little to preserve the reputation of this once life-saving pillar of our community. Okie dokie. <sighs> Let's see, we got another note right here. Just ran out of glow stick. <sighs> so much reading. Date March 27th, 1981. Uh, that patient. Psychiatric w ward report. Patient has taken their pills and are s all settled in after evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D. After the incident, he spat blood all over her and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. He seems high strung and ready to snap. Except towards Patrice. She is oddly special to him. Okay. Hmm. Seems like we really can't go further right now over here. So it looks like we're going back. And let's see. We've been covering our bases pretty well on where we have and haven't been. So. I have to say, this part is giving me kind of goosebumps. The atmosphere is really good on it. Like, I don't know what to expect. Okay. I totally did not expect that being the only path I can go down. So, let's get back there. Wait, can I crouch? I cannot crouch, I don't think. Oh, that must be patient 90D. What with the eyes thing. <clears throat> Alright, so there's a red light over there. Is there anything over here? There's not. Some objects can be climbed. Box with rope can be moved. Okay, I get this. So, yeah. We'll put this. Hmm. Okay, apparently I have to climb from this side instead of the other side. There are a lot of records in here. Okay. Only way to progress. Use. Huh? What did I miss? I can see better. That's a thing that I like. Wait a minute. There's another rope here. Or box full of rope here. So, I'm betting I can push this right here. Climb up on here. And... Examine up here. Let's see. Yes. That looks like the case. And I do not think that there's any more to explore down there. Alright, I'm hearing a lot of screams. This may hurt a bit, because that's a bit of a jump. Hmm. Wait, this is where we started off. Oh, no. Well, sounds like... Hmm. What the... Well, it sounded like all the noise was coming from there, and it looks like the walls are moving. So I guess I can't go through there. Okay. Oh, I can open up this door now. I think. Maybe. No. Uh. Ah, 
I can press this and then go through that door. Okay, that movement over there is getting much more violent. Of course, the door's closed behind me. <sighs> oh, here's a good checkpoint, so if this next section gets too long, I will cut it off at this point. So if that's the case, thank you for watching, but let's continue. Because, you know, that's only 11 minutes in. And you'll come back to a, uh, the third video being having no introduction. And that's never fun. <clears throat> you know what? We should probably open up one of these because... You know, this may be an area where we can see more things. All right. <sighs> Med Island Hospital Incident Report File, date August 13th, 1924, concerning patient 60E. Staff responded to screams coming from patient 60E's room. On arrival, there was blood all over, and patient was slashing herself repeatedly with a scalpel. It is unknown how she acquired the implement. While there was a lot of blood, none of the injuries were deep or serious. They were all surface cuts as if she was trying not to really hurt herself, just make a giant mess. Patient 60E has been, remain has been remanded to solitary confinement as a danger to herself and others. Dr. Mercer has also now taken, has also now directly taken her on as a patient. Hopefully he will be able to cure her of her inner demons. I cannot speak. Or I cannot read right now. Alright, there's a area we can look at closer. Okay. <clears throat> there's another remnant. April 9th, 1860. How is this piece of paper still, you know, okay? <sighs> Date 19... or April 9th, 1860. Concerning patient 06B, the stuffed bear, whom the patient refers to as her beloved, has been placed in quarantine. The doctor recommends its incineration, and as it has come in contact with the girl and might carry the disease. None of us have the heart to burn the stuffed animal, though. I guess Miss Ms. Goodman isn't the only one in this place with a soft spot for such a poor, wretched little girl. Started off nice, and then it went, you know, mean. Okay. Wait a minute. Are we just... retracing the places we've already been to? Do I need to set out a flare? Okay. <sighs> Day concerning. Ms. Eunuch Goodman has. Ms. Eunuch G Goodman gave patient a stuffed bear, bear as a toy, without permission from patient's doctor. Ms. Goodman has been thoroughly reprimanded and was reassigned away from the child's ward until further noticed. notice. Ugh. <sighs> Date's concerns. I fear that with. The upcoming closure of the hospital, we will be unable to find a home for her ourselves. It is sad that a life brought into this world under such violence will now become a ward of the state. She will undoubtedly be bounced between the institutions. Okie dokie. Ooh, hello. Um, what exactly am I searching deeper with all these things? Shit. Didn't mean to toss that one. Well, I was right in that fact that we have to... We're in an area where we have to use glow sticks, and my phone is getting messed. <gasps> Back up, bitch. Oh! That was a twofer, huh? Yeah. Better be scared. What? Am 
Might as well check out as much of this area as I can while I still have the flare in case they're baddies because I have a minimal amount of them. Yeah, are you done yet? Because I am. Of flares. Alright. That's not a point of interest. Shit. Alright, so the threat... No! Fuck! Okay, I don't know what the hell to do now. Okay, good. I didn't entirely lose my flare, but they are really aggressive. Okay. Hmm? Use? Use what? I'm guessing that's the door. Yeah, they weren't like that before. Oh god, what's in here? Nothing. Oh, it's this room. So I need to bring something into this room. This room. I've already checked down here. What about over here? Oh, and the music's playing again. That's not working. Yeah, I think I've already been here before. This was like a nursery. Okay, let's take a look around. Nothing of interest. <sighs> yeah, we're at the... Getting close to the 20 minute mark, so I hope... Hmm. <sighs> running low on flares, running low on glow sticks. Alright, point of interest. It's empty, of course. Ooh, remnant. Date December 8th, 1937. Concerning patient 26, 27C. Patient is physically healthy, but deteriorating mentally. He has remained in a straitjacket under cons constant observation. Patient continually yells at the maze is never ending. Scream continues throughout all hours of the day and night, ranging from low monotone chants to feverish high pitched howls. Ect uh, electroshock therapy has been scheduled for tomorrow morning. Is she around me? Because I heard weird noises. Hello? Alright, come on. Alright. I'm honestly not sure what to say because I'm just trying to get through this as quick as possible. Where are you, bitch? Come on, come on, come on. Alright. Dr. Watkins recommends removal of all possessions from patient's room as a means of curing her fantasies. Patient becomes became violent during extraction. She, she seems particularly fixated on an old doll and cried for days after its removal. So, do I have the remnant? I guess I do. Let's get out of here. Oh, hello there. Alright, patient reported seeing shadowy figures in his room at night. Staff has, staff has been advised to indulge the patient in his delusions in order to avoid the aggressive behavior observed in patient 15. Patient remains in his room until under mild observation. Alright. Ah. God damn it. Quit making me waste my flare. And my glow sticks. Anybody there? Obviously not. Oh, took a wrong turn. So I was supposed to go. Supposed to go up and over. And what the Where is it? What am I supposed to be grabbing? The book? No. 
No? I don't even know what that is. Alright. This thing? No. I don't think she can go in here, but... Uh, come on. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna have to find the exit. Didn't think about that part. Shit. Should have found that first. But that woman was disturbing me, I'll admit it, to the point where I just wanted to get this finished. Okay, where the. It's quiet. Oh, crap. Can't use light while holding the sigil. Anybody there? I don't care if they are. Okay. No. Come on. I think this is where I stopped moving. Don't look at it. Alright. Oh, sh yes! Okay. Where is it? Okay. Wait, loading. 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 Where's the save? Well, I'm pretty sure the save is going to come because we're in a new area. Um, the video's gone on a bit longer than normal, but but yeah, we're going to end this video here. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Goodbye.